Right. Good, good, uh, good evening, everyone. My name is Eric Cantu. Um, oop, let me get uh, that out of the window. And my presentation is an untapped source uh, system to reclaim and repurpose condensation from home and commercial air conditioning units. Uh, a little bit about myself. Uh, my, my BA is in communications uh, with a concentration in theater design and technology. So I was uh, on the other side of campus for a few years. I have eight years of uh, experience as an electronics technician, repairing um, everything from TVs to exercise equipment to uh, guitars and amplifiers, uh, that sort of thing. That's where I cut my teeth in electronics and, and uh, what led me to where I am at the moment. I have 10 years of experience in event productions and AV installations. I currently work as an IT contractor, helping out with the E-rate um, installations with the Mission ISD, PSJ ISD, and we have some other upcoming contracts. And um, I'm a post-baccalaureate student majoring in electrical engineering. Um, when I finish uh, with my prerequisites, I'll have the option to go master's or bachelor's in EEE, so by the end of this spring, hopefully. And uh, my team was awarded second place in the Business Idea Showdown, hosted by uh, Dr. Sar uh, John Sargent over here. Let's give him a round of applause. And let's give one more round of applause for doing this. This is pretty awesome. <laughs> uh, just uh, some pictures of past projects. On the outside are some of the um, things I've built, repaired. In the center are some of my pictures taken while working overseas as a uh, lighting and sound technician, stage manager for a cruise line. Uh, you know, everybody's talking about it's snowing tonight. Well, that picture in the middle was taken in Antarctica, believe it or not. Um, OK, so on to the nitty gritty of what, we're, what I'm here to talk about. Um, so the drawbacks of municipal water, they're pretty obvious. I mean, it, while inexpensive, um, I mean, you can get 1,000 gallons for, what is it, $10, something like that. I, I haven't paid a water bill, to be honest with you. Um, but the municipal water supply is dependent on climate and infrastructural conditions. The valley, in particular, um, has water of differing quality. I'm from FAR, which is, has notoriously bad water. Um, so we're trying to get away from that because uh, sometimes it's overchlorinated, and tap water can contain several chemicals, uh, such as chlorine and fluoride, uh, just to name a few. Uh, use and quality can be affected by municipal regulations. Um, also, take into consideration construction, storms, outages, or in, and most often that happens here, uh, water rationing uh, due to scarcity affects, um, affects water restrictions the most around here. Now, on t uh, did you know that the average home air conditioner can generate to 21 gallons of condensation per day? That number does seem inflated. Um, numbers are closer to five gallons per day. This is really uh, mostly if, if the AC is constantly running and generating condensation. Um, in myself in particular, I've gotten five gallons in an open bucket sitting in a garage, and that was after two days of uh, collection. Um, you know, and in this case, a colder indoor temperature on a hotter and more humid day can actually lead to more free water. One of the few instances where running your AC all the time and colder is actually more beneficial. Now, a reclamation system can be built for as low as $250. Mind you, this is for irrigation, which we'll touch up on in a bit. Um, over here, we have a condensate calculator, which was uh, developed by San Antonio Water System and Building Green LLC. If you plug in some values close to what uh, you would, um, a valley user would, you, would uh, input, you would end up with 21.31 gallons. That's at 90 degrees Fahrenheit. 75% relative humidity. Uh, very conservative values for valley weather, if you, if you ask me. And that's with the AC unit in, uh, at 78 degrees and uh, with a 3.5 ton system. Again, conservative values. Most people set their AC to 70, 68. Now, the advantages of, of air conditioner condensate, it's, at, it's absolutely free and abundant. As a matter of fact, it's been the bane of homeowners for a long time and HVAC installers. Uh, Matty Golderman over here has a lot of experience in HVAC and he can tell you all about that. Um, most of the time, it's just uh, drained away, not, not actually put to use, though I have seen instructables online on how to use it for irrigation. Well, um, there's also institutions that use it on a much larger scale to irrigate the fields or to repump back into their chilled water cooling systems. Another advantage of uh, air conditioner condensate, it's naturally free of chemicals. Now, there's an asterisk there because it, it's depend again, it's, it depends on atmospheric conditions. Uh, say if you live in Beijing, well, it might re require a little more uh, filtration, um, or any major US city for that matter. Like, since it is essentially rainwater, there are less chemicals to re remove from it. 
So it requires less filtration. Um, all right, moving along. Now, this is a simplified schematic on um, how a, a reclamation system would operate. Currently, uh, most homes already have your AC, AC unit and one pump that's already draining away. Now, um, we would come in and develop a system to, custom tailored to your application, whether you want to irrigate, whether you want to drink the water, or repurpose it for uh, indoor use. As you can see, that would depend. This, you, know, you would add another pump or an array of pumps and tubing, depending on what you want to use it for. Now, after after the Biz Idea Showdown, uh, I decided to focus the project more on developing something in a smaller package that'd be easier to uh, achieve and accomplish. So I decided to go with um, uh, developing a drinking uh, drinking water purification system uh, based around this concept. Now. We plan to have a prototype completed by May 2014 at the end of the semester, and uh, the design and implementation will be developed under the guidance of Dr. Julius Marpong over at the Electrical, Electrical Engineering Department. And we, are, we will be submitting our project for peer review by IEEE. Um, primary goals and design considerations. Water must be comparable to a commercial product. Um, years of drinking bottled water or water from Watermill Express uh, have have affected the taste buds of water drinkers. So we have, to do, we have to have a product that's palatable and enjoyable, as well as safe to drink. Um, the device will need to be as simple as possible, uh, naturally so, so we can contain it in a smaller unit. The device must integrate into existing installations with minimal intervention. So less, pipe, less tubing to construct. Um, that way, there's less chances of failure or uh, trouble from a, from a botched installation. Automate functions wherever possible. Uh, we plan to do this through the use of maybe a microcontroller setup, uh, whether it's PIC, Parallax, or um, Arduino, which is more common. And we also plan to use readily available parts, uh, just anything off the shelf that's already existing. That way, it brings the price down to the product. Uh, we're also hoping to design the design a clean, stylized, and self uh, self-contained uh, product that can be marketable and appealing to the end user. And uh, without going into specifics, we plan on uh, making the circuitry and the valving to be fully automated and minimize user input. That way, you don't have to worry about um, your, whether your water is purified or not, whether um, the container will be overflowing. Everything will be automated and purified automatically. Uh, the growth and profit potential, well, uh, think about it this way. It can be installed in any, in virtually any home or office with the central uh, AC. Now, we're not trying to get rid of the ubiquitous water cooler. Uh, I believe that's very important for uh, relieving office tensions or what have you. But we will be enhancing it by eliminating the need for refillable jugs in the case of uh, an office unit. And also um, uh, eliminating the need to buy bottled water. If the $450 to $600 target is met for the product, a water purification system will pay for itself in less than a year. If you keep in mind, this, the, the consumption of water by other users varies. Some people drink as many as three to four uh, bottles of uh, bottled water per day. At a dollar, day, at a dollar per day, that it really adds up. Now, we also uh, we're, we're also hoping to create additional services that can be developed or offered, and uh, like leasing systems for those that live in apartments, uh, providing maintenance support, maybe optimization. Uh, and also designing custom applications in the case if you have um, a more specific setup. And oh, anybody has any questions about my, uh, for anybody who would like updates on the project, you feel free to contact me at my email. And if you have any questions now that I can answer, I'll be more than happy to field them. Anybody? Oh. We're at the concept stage. I've already spoken to Dr. Marpong, and we've already come up with a plan to create a, an automated system that will uh, pump, pump in the water, purify it, and drain any excess away. So we're at the concept stage, and we're about to get uh, work on design once we start finding the suitable components that we can marry together into one self-contained unit.
Um, it's a little bit of both. Um, I, it is really, it's going to be a labor of love at first, but we hopefully end to, we aim to create something that can be marketable and sold and produced. Heidi. Well, as I mentioned earlier in the presentation, since it's atmospheric, it will require less, less purification. We, we want to incorporate maybe a single stage filter, a carbon filter, uh, and a UV disinfecting system. That way it can be purified. De and depending on the product, I mean, we, will, we do plan on sending sa uh, samples of the water that's been treated by the system in for, for testing. Depending on the end result and the overall taste, that's, that will influence how many stages of filtration we are going to be using. Yes, Dr. Sajid. Yeah, since the coils are, are seal, in a sealed setup, hermetically sealed, was it, how you, you, you explained it to me? Uh, there is growth and, um, yeah, and contaminants that grows inside the setup. So we have to filter that away because the, the condensation is forming around the, around the coils of the AC unit. So it's sealed and there's back, uh, a lot of growth of contaminants in there that we're trying to filter away once it's ready to drink. Uh, I'm glad you asked that, man. Um, it is in use uh, by larger ins research institutions. Some universities are already employing this to irrigate their, f um, land their landscapes, to um, and also to repump the water back into a chilled water system, which is di which is different from the conventional AC unit that we all know about. Um, as far as a pro an end product that's being sold on the market to consumers in, in residences, no, there's nothing like that that I've seen. But there are instructables online, people doing stuff like building setups out of PVC to water their their indoor plants and that sort of thing. E um, if you Google, uh, you'll find several images and instructables on uh, that sort of method. But what we're trying to do is make a device that can be, that can collect this water and make it safe to drink. That's the first step. After, after that, we'll um, move into other domains and try to explore other ventures. Yes, uh, that's the target price. That, that's based on um, existing parts that we will, that we need in, and that's the price based on uh, prices of uh, available parts that we're kind of compiling to build this. Yes? So I live in a household with five people. We go through a lot of water, whether it's washing dishes or taking showers or doing the laundry. Have you considered marrying this with other things like rainwater reclamation so that you can fill up your tank quicker than just whatever's coming off of the condensation? And if so, what other things have you looked at to add to that? Um, depending on your use, depending on what you plan on using it for, that will affect uh, what we need, uh, what you need to do, or what setup you, you need. So, we have considered uh, rainwater reclamation and uh, gray water reclamation, which is soapy waters and that sort of thing. Uh, generally, I wouldn't recommend that for consumption. But maybe to repurpose it to, uh, or, or even watering your lawn. Uh, I would probably use it again to for another load of laundry or that sort of thing. For dr as far as drinking water goes, uh, I would probably stick with just the condensate reclamation. Yes, ma'am. Um, yes, there will be uh, because this is this just supplements what you already have, and um, if if it's aimed for the health conscious, because the output isn't that much, you, it will take. Several days. I mean, it takes about a day to f you fill a five-gallon tank. So that that will not meet the needs of a shower or a load of laundry or, or dishwashing. Hmm? Any other questions? 
Right. Thanks for listening.